Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel Spaday Scenes. So I'm really sorry that it's been about two months since I last posted one of my videos. It's just been really busy with school and sports and there's been a lot going on. So anyways, since I posted my last video and this video today, I've hit the 1,000 and the 2,000 subscriber mark. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed. It means so much to me knowing that you guys watch my videos and that you like them enough to subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much. So anyways, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool breast cancer ribbon. Since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I want to show you how to make it. And even though it's towards the end of October, you can um, promote breast cancer awareness throughout the whole year. So anyways, let's get into the video. You will need pink and white yarn, a crochet hook, I'll be using a 5mm hook, a sewing needle, and scissors. So this is the final product of the breast cancer ribbon that we're going to be making. And so we're going to start with this pink part, which is the majority of the ribbon. And then after, we're going to do a white border all the way around. So to start, we're going to make this pink part. And so this is just the pink part without the border. And we're going to make a chain and then do double crochet all the way around. So you can see that it doesn't lie flat like a normal uh, double crochet chain would. So to make it rounded, we're going to increase the amount of double crochets into the chains, which will then make it rounded. And then when we get to the peak, we're going to repeat everything that we did on this side on this side. So it's going to look exactly the same and like a mirror image. So to make the pink part of the ribbon, we're going to make a slip knot. Then insert your crochet hook and pull to tighten the loop. Then we're going to make a chain of 27. To make a chain, you're going to put your hook on the left side of this string, turn it to face towards you, which is called yarning over, and then pull through. So that's one chain. So we have two, three, four, and just continue until you have 27 chains. And I'll meet you back once you've completed that. So now that we have our 27 chains, we're gonna do one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So we're gonna skip one, two, three, and insert into this fourth stitch. So you're gonna yarn over, insert into the chain, yarn over, come out, so we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through only the first two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. So that's one double crochet, and this chain three is going to count as one of the double crochet. So now we're just going to do one double crochet in each of the next four chains. So we have this chain that we just did the last one in. We're going to do one double crochet into this chain. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through only the first two loops, leaving two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two. So now we have three double crochet, basically this one counting as one of the double crochet. And then we need to do three more. So you're going to do one double crochet in this chain, then one double crochet in this one, and one double crochet in this one, till you have a total of six double crochet, including this chain three. So you can do that, and I'll meet you back once you've completed that. So now I've completed the three double crochet that we needed to complete out of the six double crochet, with the chain three again counting as one of the double crochet. So now we need to gradually increase the amount of double crochet, like we talked about, to make the ribbon curved. So the last double crochet we did was in this chain. So in this next chain, we need to do two double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert into that chain, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So we have one double crochet. And then we're going to do another double crochet into that same chain. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So now we have two double crochet, and then the six double crochet. Next, we're just going to do one double crochet in the chain. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Then again, two double crochet into this same chain, and then one more double crochet in this one. So I'll meet you back once you've done the two double crochet in this chain, and the one double crochet in this one. So to recap what we've done, we have the chain three, the one, two, three, four, five double crochet, then we did two double crochet in this chain, then one double crochet in this chain, two double crochet, then one double crochet. So now we're almost to the peak, and we need to do two double crochet in this chain, and another two double crochet in this one. So we'll do one of those together. 
So we do one double crochet and then a second in the same stitch. So we've done those two double crochet and I'll meet you back once you've done those other two. So we've done these two double crochet and two double crochet. So now all that's left to do is the peak. So in this chain, we're going to have the peak and three double crochet. So yarn over, insert into this chain, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, and three. So you can see that we've done one half of the ribbon and it curves because we increased those double crochet. So now we're going to repeat the same thing but on this side. So we have the three double crochet and then in the next two chains, so in this chain and this chain, we're going to do two double crochet. So two double crochet and two double crochet. So I'll meet you back once you've completed that. So we've done the two double crochet and two double crochet into those two chains and now we need to gradually decrease the amount of double crochet that we're doing. So we're going to do one double crochet in this chain, then two double crochet in this chain, then one double crochet, and two double crochet. So we do one, two, one, two. And I'll meet you back once you've done those double crochet. So now we've just completed the one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, and two double crochet. And then all that's left is six chains. So we're just going to do one double crochet in each chain. So I'll meet you back once you've completed that. So now I've completed the six double crochet and we're going to chain one, pull, and then cut with our scissors to finish off the pink part of the ribbon. And then also weave in these ends to complete it. To start the white border, you're going to insert your crochet hook into the end of the pink part of the ribbon. Then wrap your white yarn around your hook. Pull through and then make a knot. Then you're going to insert into that same space, yarn over, come out to get a loop back on your hook. Then you're going to chain one and do a single crochet into the same space. So to single crochet, you're going to insert into that same space, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. So we have our first single crochet, and we're going to do three more right along this row. So we're going to insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. Insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. Insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. Then we're going to get the ribbon back to where we want it to be. So this is the time where you can arrange the ribbon how you want it. You can have it at an angle like this, or like this. So I'm just going to do it somewhere in the middle, like that. So instead of just doing a single crochet into this part of the ribbon, we're going to insert into the top part as well. So we're going to insert into the top, and then also go through to the bottom. Then yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. So this is another purpose of the border, is to connect these two overlapping parts of the ribbon and make sure that they're secure. So now we're going to be working on this top part of the ribbon. So we're just going to insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. So we're going to do a few single crochet, and then we're going to start increasing the amount of single crochet, just as we did for the double crochet. So in this next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So we have one, and then two. Then in the next one, we're just going to do one. And then in the one after, we're going to do two. And then one. And then two and just kind of go in this pattern all the way around. And so we're increasing this number because we don't want it to curl, because if you just do one single crochet in each of the double crochet, then it would curl in on itself and it wouldn't be able to lay flat. So again, we're gonna do two single crochet. 
There isn't really a major pattern for you to follow regarding when to do two single crochet and when to do one single crochet. Usually I just alternate between the two and I add two single crochet wherever I feel that it's necessary to prevent the curling. Since we've gone over most of this curve of the ribbon, I'm only going to do one single crochet in each double crochet from this point on because we don't really need to prevent the curling anymore. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll meet you back once I'm about to connect the top and bottom pieces of the ribbon. So now I'm getting close to the top overlapping part of the ribbon. So I'm going to do one more single crochet and then I'm going to attach the top and bottom together. So insert into both, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. Now I'm just going to do single crochet all the way around this little leg of the ribbon. So now I've done the single crochet around this end of the ribbon and I need to attach the top and bottom part. So I'm just going to insert into this stitch and also through the bottom. Then yarn over and pull through two. Then I'm just going to do single crochet all the way around this end of the ribbon and I'll meet you back once I've completed that. So now I've gone all the way back around and I'm just going to finish it off by slip stitching into the first single crochet that we did. So yarn over, come out, and then pull through. Then chain one, pull, and cut with your scissors. And then pull. And now I'm just going to weave in the ends. So now that we've weaved in all of the ends, we've completed the breast cancer ribbon. 